Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Whee! Uh-oh, I'm gonna fall off the couch. I like it! I took two! Molly, what are you doing? Uh-oh, mom's here. Sorry, mom. Molly, I thought you were over being naughty. You're way too grown up for this now. And besides, look what you're teaching your baby sister. What? Baby Kara, don't jump on the couch. You're going to fall and get hurt. I can be like big sister. No, you can't be like big sister. See, you're setting an example for her because she looks up to you. You're the big sister, Molly. Um, yeah, okay, but does that mean I have to be good all the time? Actually, yes, Molly, like me. Dizzy, are you seriously watching a video about someone feeding a peanut to a squirrel? Yes, I love this YouTube video. The squirrel's name is Captain Fuzzy Boots. Seriously, they named that squirrel Captain Fuzzy Boots? Yeah, isn't that adorable? <laughs> Whee! Baby Kira, stop jumping on the couch. You're going to sit in time out. Oh, that is no fun at all. Yeah, I know. Moms are no fun at all. <laughs> Okay, stop jumping on things. You taught me, Molly. I watch you. No, I didn't teach you that. Don't tell mom that I'll get grounded. Okay, girls, it's 630 and you have school tomorrow. So time to start your school night routine. Okay, fine. What do we have to start with? Homework, of course. Fine. Let me get out my school books. I'm, like doing homework. Can't they teach us something at school? I tell mom work too. I pick good. Oh, baby Kira, that's not your homework. That's... What is that? Oh, you're reading the cat in the hat. How cute. Definitely not your homework. It's my homework. I do it, see? Um, does mom know you have that pen? Don't write all over the wall. I do my homework. Just like Pico. Okay, you do your homework like a big girl. Oh, can you do my homework? I <laughs> don't like to read. Oh, so much homework. Oh, too much homework. Too much homework. Too much homework. Mom, I've gone crazy. I've gone insane. I've gone bonkers. Okay, Molly, I think you're done with enough homework for tonight. I do homework like Pico. Oh, baby Kara, that's so adorable. Do you think you're going to school? I go to school. Yeah, I go. Thank goodness that schoolwork is done. Okay, Molly, time to go gather all your books into your backpack. I know, so I don't forget in the morning. Wait, where did I leave my books? Where are they? I can't find them! And this is exactly why you do it tonight and not in the morning. Okay, I picked up my last book. And it's all in my adorable kitty backpack. I got a cute backpack for school, too. See, it has bunny on it. Ooh, let me see. Oh, that's adorable. Except for you're not going to school. I got good. I say that. Okay, baby Kara, sure. If you want to go, fine. Mom, I, I put my books in in the morning. I'm still got some more studying I need to do. I'm going to wake up early to work on it. Oh, such a good student, Daisy. I know. Um, I, I'm going to go take a shower now. Me too, Mom. Um, If I, I did all my homework, can you sign my paper for my, my teacher? Because she said you have to actually check it over. Okay, Molly, sure. No problem. Here you go, Mom. Here's a pen. All you have to do is just sign on the dotted line. Okay, let me just read this. No, don't read it! Just sign it! Molly, this says you got an F on your spelling test. Um, oops. Molly! Okay, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! Molly, this means you need to study an extra half an hour every night. Oh, man! I thought you could say smart. Oh, yeah, you are smart, baby Kira. Okay, Molly, go get ready for school tomorrow by taking your shower and getting clean. And don't forget to wash behind your ears. So demanding. Baby Kira, what are you doing in here? I take bath in the sink and ready for school. You don't take a bath in the sink. Ugh, this kid. La, 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 la. I have to get ready for school. Me too, Molly. Da, 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 get ready for school. Look, baby Kira. If you knew what was really good for you, you would not want to get ready for school. Why? I think it's fun. I go first day tomorrow. Yeah, you think that it'll be fun, but trust me, you're in your golden years right now. You have zero responsibilities. Ah, oh, there's so much homework. And tests. 
and homework and tests. All right, time to find something to wear. Hopefully I have some clean clothes because sometimes I'm not very good about doing my laundry. Mm, no, no, no. Okay, this is perfect. I'll wear this and I'll be super comfy for bed. Perfect. I wear my jammer. I, I, I take backpack to bed. Okay, baby Kara, take your backpack to bed. Molly, I'll be up in a minute to say goodnight. Take your sister with you, okay? Yeah, sure. Come on, baby Kara. Come on, you can't operate the, the elevator, but okay, she did. <laughs> I told her she wasn't supposed to, but she did. I keep a job. <sighs> Ooh, Daisy, I sleep it. Yeah, she's already sleeping. She has to wake up early so she can do way more schoolwork in the morning. It's kind of lame. Ah, don't turn out the light! What was that noise? Guys, be quiet! It's like one in the morning. I'm exhausted. It was baby Kara, not me. Good night, baby Kara. <sighs> another day of school, another day. <sighs> I see my big kid's room. I can wait for school tomorrow. I'm big kid now. I go go too. It could be fun because I learn a lot and play and eat people. Pipa for lunch. Uh, uh. Molly, your eyes aren't even open yet. <laughs> Do you need some coffee? Uh, just point me in the direction of the waffles. Okay, Molly. In the refrigerator on the left. Ow! I hit myself with a refrigerator door. That's probably why you should definitely... Ah, the waffles are frozen! Of course they are, Molly. You just took it out of the freezer. Open your eyes up. Good morning, everybody! Oh, she's so chipper in the morning. Oh, my gosh. Okay, girls, eat your breakfast. Chop, chop. You don't want to be late for the bus. Yeah, that would be such a tragedy. <sighs> Molly, quit pretending to sleep. Now, go get dressed. Fine. Oh, why do we have to go to school so much? Being responsible is lame. What should I wear to school today? Ooh, this is cute. I think I'll wear this. Easy peasy. Oh, I might get kind of cold in this. Uh, I probably should put a sweatshirt over it or something. It's fall now, so <laughs> you totally need that. <laughs> Love it! I'm all ready to go, Mom! Oh, you look adorable today, Molly. How do you know? You're not even looking at me, Mom. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not quite awake either. <laughs> okay, well, do you really think my outfit's cute, Mom? Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Yes, Molly, your outfit's adorable. Now get to school before you're late. Sure thing, Mom. Have a good day. You too, Molly. Come on, Molly. We're going to be late, jeepers. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh-oh. Forgot my backpack. Molly! What? I need my backpack, jeepers. Finally, I'm going to get 10 minutes of peace and quiet. Ah, baby Kira's still sleeping. Bye, Mom. Love you. Love you too. I'm going to school. Come on, Molly! Okay, I'm coming, bossy. Molly, why are you going to listen to this song? Because I love it! <laughs> it's just some solace before I go to school. I go to school too. I go to school, it's my first day. Got my backpack and everything. <laughs>《Colored Unicorn, the Brightly Colored Unicorn, my favorite show ever! Oh, I'm gonna turn on the TV. I'm in my pajamas, so I'm all comfy. Ugh, the news? No, who would want to watch that? Boring! The Cooking Channel. Boring! Here it is, here it is! The Brightly Colored Unicorn, the Brightly Colored Unicorn. Do, 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 Ah, my favorite show. And I get the couch all to myself. That's so fast, Molly. I want to watch it, too. Ooh, look, Molly. We're wearing the same pajamas. We're twinsies. Daisy, we are not twinsies. Yes, we are, Molly. Look, we're wearing the same shoes, the same pants, the same everything. Daisy, I don't want to be your twin. Molly, how rude. Okay, Daisy, fine. I'll be your twin. Just shh. I want to watch a brightly colored unicorn. Daisy! 
Sorry, I'm just excited about watching the brightly colored unicorn. Hey, Molly, did you do your homework? Uh, Molly, we're supposed to do our homework before we watch the brightly colored unicorn. Uh huh. Uh, uh, okay, whatever, Daisy. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Look at the way he just flies through the air. Just, oh, so beautiful. He's not a boy, Molly. It's a girl. Yeah, I know. It's a girl. You said he. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, Molly. No, I didn't. Molly, yes, you did. Oh, fine, Daisy. Yeah, I said he. But I meant she. Okay, fine. Girls, did you do your homework? Hub, uh, ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, I did my homework, but Molly didn't do hers. Molly, you're supposed to do your homework. Go do your homework, please. But Mom, the brightly colored unicorn's on. Molly, you have to do your homework first. Oh, man. Have fun doing your homework, Molly. <laughs> Whatever, Daisy. Rude sister. Gotta go do my homework. Can't even believe it right now. Look at this giant pile of homework! Ugh. Guess I better start getting getting it all done or I'm gonna be here all night. Really wanted to watch a brightly colored unicorn. So not fair! Okay, English assignment. Write about one thing you would like to get from the Easter Bunny. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, I'm thinking about it. If I could get one thing from the Easter Bunny, it would be. Oh man, this is hard because I have to choose between candy and LOL dolls. Okay, dear Mrs. Harris, I know you just wanted us to pick one thing, but I can't do that because I love candy and LOL dolls equally. So I am writing this English paper about both. Here I go. For Easter this year, in my Easter basket, I would like to have an LOL doll and also some candy. My favorite ki type of candy is chocolate. If my basket was full of chocolate, I would be super happy. If my basket had an LOL doll in it that I could open and it would be beautiful, I would be happy. The end. Oh, I did my homework! Hooray! Now I can go back to watching the brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Hey, where's Daisy? Oh, well, must be she didn't want to watch it. I do! The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my gosh, I love the show. It's so amazing. Molly, are you watching it again? Yeah. Mom said we have to brush our teeth and get ready for bed. No, I'm watching this. Besides, I just finished my homework. Ooh, did you write about what you want for Easter? Yeah, I wrote that I wanted two things. Molly, you're going to fail. You're only supposed to write about one thing. Whatever, Daisy. It's my paper. Go away. Molly, Daisy. Molly, did you finish your homework? Yeah, I finished it. Okay, well, now I need you to go brush your teeth and get ready for bed. But, Mom, I just sat down. I want to watch a brightly colored unicorn. Molly, get going. Okay, fine. Ugh. Can't believe it. I can't even watch the brightly colored unicorn today because I have to get ready for bed. Ugh. Who likes night routines anyway? Da 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 Okay, I took a bath. Now I'm gonna brush my teeth. Brush up, 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 brush And... Ah, perfect. I'm all done. Maybe now I can watch the brightly colored unicorn. No, Molly. It's time for bed. You have school in the morning. Okay, Mom. I'm really hungry, though. My stomach's growling. Better make a snack. What you doing, Molly? It's time for bed. I'm starving, Daisy. I'm making a snack. Let's see, what do I want? Salad? No. Hot dog? No. Vegetable soup? No. Bacon and eggs? Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Beef stew? Hamburgers? Mmm, now that sounds delicious. Ooh, cookies. Tacos? Okay, I definitely want hamburgers. Molly, you can't have hamburgers. We already ate dinner. Yeah, so? 
How about a nice, delicious apple? I don't want an apple. I want a hamburger with all this yummy stuff with it. Oh, boy, Molly, you're going to get in trouble. No, I'm not, Daisy. No, I'm not. Molly, what are you doing? Ah, uh, nothing. She's making hamburgers. Hamburgers? Really, Molly? Are you hungry? Yeah, I think I'm having a growth spurt. <laughs> Ooh, these smell delicious. Ooh, they really do, Molly. Maybe I'll have one. Oh, I thought you didn't want the hamburgers, Daisy. Yeah, but since you're making them, I think I'll have some too. <laughs> Fine, Daisy. First, you have to wait till they're all done. Okay, Molly, I'll wait till they're done. And they're done! Do, 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 ba, 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 ba. I always sit in the wrong chair at the table. I do not understand why. You can sit next to me, Molly. Oh, well, I'll take this seat so you don't have to. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah, finally, I can have my cheeseburger. Ooh, this smells delicious. I don't, I ate half of them already. Daisy! Mmm, that really hit the spot. Daisy, stop eating all the cheeseburgers! Sorry, Molly, I was super hungry. Ugh, my sister ate all of them. I only got to have two, and you got to have three. No fair! Whoa, picky, picky, Molly. Oh, that was super delicious. Now I'm really full. Molly, now it's time for bed. Okay, good night, Daisy. Sisters. I have so much energy from eating all those hamburgers. Like, seriously, I totally don't want to go to sleep yet. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, what are you doing? Um, nothing. That doesn't sound like nothing. Boing, 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 boing. Go to sleep, please. Oh, my... My sister's nagging me. And my mom is nagging me. Everybody's nagging me. I'm not even tired yet. Hi, kitty. You're so cute. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> okay, I'm bored with that now. Maybe I should do a little bit more painting. That sounds like fun. Hmm, what does my unicorn painting need? Ah, can you guys see what I did? I made a kitty cat with a unicorn horn. It's a kitten. It's a kitten unicorn. Isn't that adorable? Molly, aren't you in bed yet? I'm going to tell on you. Daisy, you're such a tattletale. Daisy, come back here. Daisy, you better not tell on me. Don't you dare. Daisy, go to bed, Molly. Jeez. Fine, you go to bed too. Daisy, don't slam the door in my face. Daisy, how rude. Molly, turn off the TV and go to bed. Okay, Mom. Daisy slammed the door in my face. It was rude. <laughs> Daisy, wake up. Daisy, wake up. You're late for school. You're late for school. Well, Rod, I feel like I just fell asleep. This can't be right, Rod. Oh, my gosh, I'm late for school. <laughs> We're so funny, Molly. Being late for school is not funny. <laughs> you just fell asleep, Daisy. It's not time for school. Molly, I'm going to get you. Get back here, Molly. Molly, I'm going to get you. Yeah, okay, Daisy. You can get me if you want, but never mind. You can't because I'm locking you out of my room. <laughs> that was awesome. Girls, are you in bed yet? Totally, Mom. Totally. <laughs> oh, that was the best day ever. <laughs> no, I want to ride the pink unicorn. I want to ride the pink unicorn. Molly, 
Charlie snores it sounds like a chainsaw. I'm going to play with her toy since she pranked me and tried to tell me it was time to wake up for school. I love this toy. Ooh wee. Hey to you offense. Don't tell Molly that I was playing with her favorite toys while she was sleeping. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos every single day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom, 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 mom. Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? <coughs> Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry. Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't. I'm starving. Mom, help. <coughs> can't wait any longer. Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR! Dad, no, no! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, Um, I can't do my homework. What? Why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just going to skip it. Molly, no, you're not. The answer is no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer. Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog. It's smiling. <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready. Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Molly, you're still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, oh, 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 that, that's, that's not fair. Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom, mom, mom. Yes, girls. Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no, it's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything! Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests! Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute. I didn't know I was a part of this decision. 
What are we telling them? We I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly, you kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. Um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha-ha! <laughs> skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents! Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm hmm. So delicious. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Oh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxy ate delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. <laughs> Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like, what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh. All right. But be careful, okay? We will. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> I'm going to ride in mom's car. I'm going to ride in mom's car. It's going to be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not dad's though. It's mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven it all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy is after me. P I G G Y. Okay, you won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Oh my god, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't, my door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight, I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the po the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pod! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes. Remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Ah, uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Um, uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait, you really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy! Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um Duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna step over you. Sorry. Uh, yeah. We might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're gonna go to the ice cream shop. Whoa. <laughs> There's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well. It was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Molly, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um, Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Molly. Maybe they're on their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Molly? Yeah, pretty much. You start with some bubble gum. Mmm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. 
so good. Buddy, did you eat $1,000 with yet? Not even close. Molly, why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh. I know. I'm definitely going to throw up. Definitely. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Where is there a bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Oh! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. And we ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, so much ice cream. Molly, get off of me. Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could bleh. Ew, Molly, gross. I don't want any more yes days. Never again. I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm going to have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Molly. This is just crazy. Dan, don't worry. Well, Daisy seems to be watching um, pandas, but but Molly doesn't want to watch this, and she's just jumping on my lap. What do I do? Molly, behave yourself. Okay, Mom, do you have to go to work on the weekend? I'm going to miss you. Yes, Molly, I have to go to work on a Saturday. I know that stinks, but Daddy will be here, and I'll be back very soon. Dan, don't feed the girls junk food for lunch. Hey, <laughs> no promises. Ow. Seriously. All right, guys. I love you. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Love you. Oh, I can't be late for work. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Yes, Molly. You've said my name three million times today already. <laughs> She's annoying, right? Be quiet, Daisy. You're rude. Daddy, I'm going to eat a cupcake for lunch. Okay, whatever. Just don't say my name one more time for at least 10 minutes. Ooh. Oh, I bet it's your mom calling. Hello? Hello, is this Mr. Acker? Yeah. Huh, did I win something? What is it? Dad, everybody knows this cause of a scam. Mr. Acker, your wife's been in an accident. <gasps> Wait. What? Uh, what are you talking about? Your wife. She was in a car accident. She's in the hospital. Uh oh! You should come down here right away. Is she... Is she okay? Um, we'll talk about it when you get here, Mr. Acker. Oh my god! Girls! Girls, go get in the car! What? What happened? Are we going to get ice cream? No! Your mom... She's in the hospital! What? Mommy! <laughs> I want mommy! <laughs> Don't worry, girls. I'm sure everything's fine. Oh, look at the car accident. It looks terrible. Oh, God. I hope it wasn't Laura that was in that accident. I'm going to have to turn around and go a different way. The road's completely shut down. I hope mom's okay. I'm starting to freak out. Everything's going to be okay. Daddy's here, girls, and whatever it is, we'll face it together. What's what's going on with my wife? <laughs> Daisy, where's your sister? She went to get a snack from the snack machine. She eats what she said. Okay. Uh, is my wife going to be okay? Does she just have a concussion? I'm sorry to inform you of this, Mr. Acker, but your wife is in a coma. We're not sure if she's ever going to wake up. Wait, wh what? But, but I love her. <gasps> I'm sorry that this happened to you today. It's not going to be easy to live without her. Will, uh, will she survive? Yes, 
It seems that all of her organs are still, well, intact. <laughs> just somewhere else. Oh my god! This is terrible! Laura! This is terrible! Laura! How will I ever live without you? Mommy! <laughs> Molly, get off your mom! She, You're getting crumbs on her! Well, I think she'd like donut crumbs! <laughs> Daisy, where'd you get that shirt? I got it from Amazon and I think it's a dog. It is. Molly, are you okay? Yeah. Don't I look happy? Well, I think that says your brace is making you smile because they're like wired into your face and you can't put your mouth the way you want to, which is in a frown. Oh, Daisy, you know me too well. Remember when mom used to make us those delicious pancakes for breakfast? I sure do, Molly. She was the best mom ever. Why she gotta be in a coma? I hate this! I need a mom! <gasps> I need a mom too, Molly, but there's nothing we could do about it. This is just our life now. We've lived so long without her, I'm sick of it! I am too, Molly. I, I only feel better when I live, listen to Tay-Tay's music. It's like she understands me. Yeah. I know what you mean. Hey, girls. Oh, no. Are you missing mom again? Yeah. Every second of every day. I just need to eat a donut to feel better. How about a nice piece of fruit? You sound like mom. Don't try to be mom. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just don't want you to just eat donuts. I want you to be healthy. I don't want anybody to tell me what to do. I just miss my mom. I think I have the solution. I have somebody I'd like you guys to meet. Is it Taylor Swift? Oh my god, that would be amazing! I don't even know if that would be amazing. I miss my mom so much. No, trust me. This is gonna make everything better. I just know it. I, I, I'd like you guys to meet Sarah. Sarah? She's the school bully! Wait, that's not the school bully. No. Sarah's my girlfriend. I'm marrying her. Say what? I don't think so. This is a bad prank. I would be so grumpy right now in my face if I didn't have these braces making me smile. Hi, girls. Yeah, I'm Sarah, and, well, I love your dad, and I'd like the opportunity to love you guys, too. Tough, tough, and tough. I don't think so, lady. You're not my mom, and you never will be. I'm out of here. Come on, Daisy. Oh, Dan, I don't know. That went terrible. I don't think that they'll ever accept me. Don't say that, Sarah. I know that they will. It's just going to take a little time for them to get used to you being here. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't move into the house like we, we originally planned. No. The girls will love you as much as I do. Well, I mean, their mom is still alive and in a coma. I know, but... I think she's brain dead. We all have to move on. Molly, what are we gonna do about this crazy Karen? Karen, her name is Sarah. I know, even worse, the name of our school bully. We are gonna make a plan to get rid of this lady. Who does she think she is trying to be our mom? I know, right? Weird. Hey girls, I made dinner and what do you think? You live here now? Actually, girls, she moved in. Ooh, what? Oh, I made your favorite for dinner, girls. Tacos and burritos. Your dad said you love them. Oh, did he now? Well, I hate them. Do you know what I'm going to do with this? Uh oh I'm going to flush it down the toilet. Watch me. <laughs> See you later, sticky bean burrito. <laughs> Molly. Normally you have to eat the burrito before you go to the bathroom with it. <laughs> Daisy, quit making fun of me. Girls, did you just flush Sarah's dinner down the toilet? We sure did. We don't like her. Well, she's nice. You girls should give her a chance. Not a chance. La, 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 la. Oh, I did someone. Ow, ow, ow. Someone flushed the toilet and made the water super cold. 
<laughs> Girls, come in here. Okay, Dad, what is it that you want? Hey, you should you should listen to me. I'm your dad. <gasps> we were listening to you, Dad. What is it? You should be nice to Sarah. She's a nice person. No doubt that she is, Dad, but she doesn't belong in our family. Mom belongs with us. Look, girls, I'm sorry, but, but your mom's in a coma. She's brain dead. She's not coming back. We have to try to find happiness and move on. I know this is going to be hard for all of us, but Sarah could be, well, she could be a great second mom. She'll never replace your mom, but she could definitely offer you, well, second mom -ness. Dad, is that a word? It's definitely not. Well, you know what I mean. She could be like a second mom to you. And I think you girls would really like her. Please, I'm begging you. Give her a chance, please. You girls are driving me crazy. <laughs> what do you think, Daisy? I think we should give her a chance. Okay, Dad, we'll give her a chance. Hooray! <laughs> What do you guys think of the popcorn? Is it super yummy? Yeah, second mom. What'd you put on it? Molly, do you think we could stop calling her second mom? She's been with us so many years now, and she's really special. Can we just call you mom? <gasps> really? You girls want to call me mom? Of course you can. Well, I guess it's a good time to announce that we're getting married on Saturday. You are? I've been in a coma for 15 long years. I can't wait to see my husband and my girls. Uh oh! They must have grown up so much. Wait, who's who's that sitting in my spot on the couch? Mom, you're the greatest. I love you. Oh, I love you and Daisy and Dan with all my heart. What? They replaced me? I can't believe this! I can't believe it! Once more popcorn, I'm all out! What? Oh my god! My first mom is a zombie! Do you guys ever wonder how she's my sister? She says the most ignoramus things! I just can't figure out how she logically can think that our mom that was in a coma is a zombie. <laughs> no, Molly. She just woke up from a coma because she wasn't actually brain dead. Unlike you. Huh. This girl only has one brain cell. And even that one is dying. Laura? Is that you? Of course it's me. But I see you've got a replacement for me. Um, the... We thought you were brain dead, didn't we, girls? Hey, don't blame us. You're the one that brought Sarah around. Well, who's it gonna be? Mom one or mom two? Well, uh, can we keep both of you because she makes us snacks, but we really miss you. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, I'm going to get revenge. than sitting in your house, relaxing, eating snacks. I love minding my own business and just laying on the couch, eating some Burger King. Mmm, these french fries are delicious. <laughs> Ew, Maddie, you're a little too relaxed. And look at all these snacks. Shouldn't you be eating something healthy? You mean like, mmm, bean burritos? And tacos? Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly. Sometimes I wonder if my sister's actually a pig. <laughs> maybe, easy, maybe. So, uh, what show should we watch on TV? I don't know, but I'm going to go sit on the other couch. They're stinky. Yeah. Can't help it. It's the beans and the burritos. <laughs> what, what just happened to our house? Oh, no, Molly. I bet Bookhaven had a glitch. Well, at least it didn't glitch away my uh, bean burrito. Mm. This is delicious. I think I should get some more. 
Maddie, seriously, I think we might need to restart. Leave the game and come back. Okay, let's try it. La 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 la. La 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 la. I'm back in the game and Brookie? Um, do you know that you're outside taking a shower? Uh oh! Ah, where's my house? I was taking a shower! I don't know, ours disappeared too, but <laughs> I was just sitting on the couch eating a snack. How embarrassing for you. Oh my god, I need my clothes, but my dresser's disappeared and, 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 and... It's okay, Brookie. Uh, we'll figure out where the houses have gone. I think I just spent $500 at Ulta. This face mask better get rid of my sits. I'm going to be so gorgeous tomorrow. Oh. Whoa! What just happened to my house? I, I can't be seen outside like this. I look hideous. Seriously, are you guys pranking me right now? Because I know you're smart, Daisy, and you could probably, like, recode Brookhaven. And I'm telling you, if anyone sees me in the game like this, I'm going to stuff you all in lockers until, well, until we graduate. Sarah, this isn't us. All of the houses in Brookhaven are are gone. Well, let's go try clicking on one. Maybe it was just a glitch for a minute. Good idea. Let's try vacant lot number 14. I'm clicking on it, but nothing's happening. Let me try, Molly. Yeah, it's not working for me either. What is going on? Brookhaven, own the house of your dreams? Yeah, right. <laughs> OMG, I'm so embarrassed. I'm I'm out in just my towel. You think you're embarrassed? Look at me. I'm the queen of popularity. And I look ah! like a total loser. Well, <laughs> now you know what it feels like to be us, Sarah. I don't want to know what it feels like to be you. I just want this to be fixed. What's wrong with Brookhaven? I don't know, but let's not all panic. I think if we all leave the game and come back at the same time, maybe this glitch will be over. Good plan, Lizzie. You're so smart. Thank you, I try. Did it work? Did it work, guys? Molly, so far everything looks the same. But I haven't checked any houses yet. Okay, I'm still loading. Play. The grocery store is still there. The ice cream shop is still there. Yeah, we still have a clothes on. Sometimes Brookhaven loads you up and it's like, you're standing there and you're like, where are my clothes? <laughs> Get off of my head. <laughs> Sorry, but it spawned me on top of your head. Okay, guys, try not to argue so much. We have to figure this out. Now, come on. Let's go to our houses and, and see if, they, that, if we can spawn them up. A few minutes later. Dizzy, so out of breath. That was such a long run. Molly, maybe you should eat mm, something other than a donut and you wouldn't have so much trouble running up a hill. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, I never give up burritos or donuts. So, um, what's going on with our house? Try to click on it, Molly. See what happens. Nothing's happening. Are you serious? It, it didn't work. My house doesn't work either. Ugh, and neither does mine. Ooh, what? Houses have been banned? I just got the same error message. Ugh, me too. So did I. Guys, what do you think we did to deserve this? I don't know, but where are we going to sleep? Where are we going to make bean burritos? Where am I going to poop? Um, Molly, I'm sure you could go down to the restroom. No! The last time I ate a bean burrito there, they said I could never use their bathroom ever again. <laughs> We're doomed. Well, maybe we could still spawn a car. Are you serious? We're gonna live in our car? Well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, Molly, we have to adapt and improvise. Overcome any situation. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. So I eat lots of donuts. <laughs> Molly, look, this truck spawned. It was all I could get. Seriously, the cars aren't spawning either? Bring on more donuts. I need to eat them all. Molly, seriously, stop freaking out. Really? Then why do you have that freaked out look on your face? I have the be quiet, you're super annoying look on my face. <gasps> Sarah, quit bullying us. We're doing our best. Molly, we could put like a tent or some sleeping bags in the back. Trust me, this could work. 
It's Brookhaven! We can't even sit in the back! Ugh. Well, I guess we could sleep inside the car. It'll only fit a couple of us! Okay, let me try to spawn my own house car. Wait a minute! There's an RV! We can use the RV! What? Ooh. It won't spawn? It wants us to be homeless, Molly! It wants us to be homeless! Wait, guacamole! It won't let me spawn any cars! Are you serious right now? Brookhaven! What's wrong with you? Molly! Hey, God! I've got a plan! And also, your car finally spawned. But I think I know where we can actually stay and not sleep in a car. No, I'll take my chances in the car. Uh, everyone knows that you can't drive. What do you do? Ah, why are you making me ride with you? Because uh, you have nowhere to sleep, Sarah. And even though you're a bully, I, I want to help you out. Get me out of this car. You're, you're crazy. <laughs> Whoa, Sarah, look. There's not a house to be found. Every single plot is... Man! Uh, did you seriously just jump out of the car while you were driving it? Ugh, I'm getting the hiccups. I'm so nervous. Whoa, Daisy's, Daisy's car is not going to pass the emissions test. Like, seriously. There's so much black smoke pouring out of that thing. Yeah. Follow me, Molly, unless you like sleeping in the car. Wait a minute. Is that Mr. Brookhaven's house? Of course it is, Molly. That will be there no matter what. Ugh, that place is such a dump. I don't want to sleep there. I guess you could sleep inside one of these cars. Look, Molly, we can put our sleeping bags in here until we're done being banned. What if we're never done being banned? We have to live in the shack. Wait a minute. I don't really care as long as it has something in the refrigerator. The refrigerator isn't even real! Oh, ha, ha, ha! No, loser. It's real. You just don't have permission to use it because you're not Mr. Brookhaven. Oh, no. Was well, there a bathroom here? Uh, no, Molly, there's not. Mr. Brookhaven didn't install a bathroom. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I ate too many donuts. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously, Molly? Why did you eat so many donuts and made burritos? You blew up the house and caught it on fire. Um, it's not my fault that they didn't put a bathroom in there. Oh, now where are we going to sleep? I don't know, but my car's about to catch on fire. I better move it out of here or I won't have anywhere to sleep. Where are you going? I need a ride. You said I was a terrible driver. I guess I'm just camping out by myself. I'm not going to help Sarah if she's going to be rude about my driving. Besides, I don't even know what she's talking about. I think I'm an awesome driver. Um, well, trolls live under bridges, so if they do it, I guess I could do it too. <sighs> Nice and cozy in my little car. Ugh, except for I can't stretch out my legs. And, and where am I going to lay down at? Ugh, worst day ever, Brookhaven. Why have you banned me? Please. Remove the ban. I need my house. I need snacks. I need a toilet. I need the refrigerator. I need a stove. I need more donuts. Please, Brookhaven. Hello? Molly, guess what? Seal has been unbanned. <gasps> Well, how did she do it? I don't know, but go to the go to the estates. She was able to get a huge house, and now we have all have a place to stay. Okay, I'll be there soon. It's terrible at driving cars. Ah, just crashed my car. Oh man, my sister was right. I am terrible at driving the cars in Brookhaven. Oh, why can't I not pull out of here? Okay, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, finally. I don't have a house, but Sarah has a huge mansion. So everything's going to be okay. Whoa! Look at her house. It's amazing. Uh, we each basically can have our own wing of the house and never have to deal with Sarah ever. I don't know where her driveway is. So, like, I'm literally just driving up in the grass. Okay, perfect. It was a perfect park job, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> oh, great. It's waiting. Yeah, but it soon enough will be nice and dry inside Sarah's mansion. Okay, let's ring the doorbell. Oh, someone's at my door. Oh, um, yeah, I, I don't want to buy anything. Sarah, we're not selling anything. I didn't order DoorDash. Sarah, let us in. You know we don't have a house, and, and you have this giant mansion. I don't think so. You guys are losers. I don't want you at my house. Sarah, it's raining out. Come on. Yes, Sarah, I'm freezing. I'm going to catch a cold and get really sick and end up in the hospital. 
whatever, losers. Good luck. You can live in your cars, but this mansion is all mine. Sarah! See you later. Toodles. Okay, Sarah. You want to be that way? Fine. But I haven't had a bath in, like, an entire day, so guess I'm going to use your pool. Uh-oh. Ah. Refreshing, Sarah. Refreshing. Ah. Oh, get out of my pool. Gross. Nope. You want to be mean? Well, I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> go team, go team, go team, go! I quit! What? But shiny unicorn, we need you. You're the school mascot. Yay! I thought that unicorn was so annoying. You're wearing a shirt with a unicorn on it, Sarah. Okay, yeah, because my other clothes were dirty and and we're supposed to show school spirit for cheerleaders. That unicorn was way too cheery. Why don't they get something that's like a little less annoying? I'm so sad. I love the shiny unicorn more than anything. Ow. Well, Marty, the principal said there's going to be a new mascot. Maybe you'll love that one just as much. Okay, okay, class. Let's pay attention to what's going on in math class, not who the new school mascot will be. Yeah, but teacher, this is really important. Of course it is, but not as important as your math. Now, everybody, I want you to take out your workbook, um, page 34, please. And Molly, I want you to answer question number one, please. Ow. <laughs> I totally think our mascot should be something really girly and pretty and cute, don't you, Sarah? Oh, Tiffany, you're being so annoying. Why are you so cheery today? I don't know. It just seems like a cheery day. I mean, we're getting a new mascot. This is our opportunity to make everything pink and amazing in this school. Oh, I'm just so tired of being at school. I just want to be home, like, Snapchatting or shopping. Yeah, that does sound fun, but you are going to vote for pink, right? We don't even know what the mascot's going to be yet, Tiffany. You just be quiet. You're really annoying. Fine. You are so rude today, Sarah. Ugh, whatever. I'm going to go get a snack. Hmm, what do they have? Ooh, Diet Coke, my favorite. Who do you guys think our new mascot should be? I don't know, but I definitely think the mascot should be blue. Yeah, me too. I love the color blue. No, pink! What, do you want to go be with the mean girls? The baddies? Because they're the ones that are picking pink. Well, I think pink is a great color. Like I said, you could be on Sarah's side then. May I have your attention, please? Oh, it's an announcement! Maybe we're going home early. <coughs> Marty, it's not the winter. It's not like we're going to get a half day because it's snowing. We are about to see two possible mascots. Everybody, please join us in the auditorium. Yes! Let's go see what our new mascots are. This is going to be amazing. Here are our two possible mascots for Brookhaven High. We have 
the Doge. Oh, I love that one. It's all blue. The bunny rabbit. Oh, look at that bunny rabbit. Isn't it so cute? Cute? That little bunny rabbit is terrifying. It looks like a pink nightmare. Something that's going to come terrorize me in my dreams. Yeah, that thing has a little Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm totally voting for the blue doge. Yeah, don't you think it would be cool? Home of the doge. I love it. I want the whole school, school to be blue. Oh, this is so lame. I could be Snapchatting right now. Oh, MG, are you serious? I think that pink bunny rabbit is so cute. I hope our whole school is pink, pink, and also pink. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess if I had to choose, I would choose the pink bunny rabbit. I can't believe I'm saying rabbit instead of rabbit. Yeah, but it's going to be our school mascot. I'm so excited. Yay! All right, everyone. I want a show of hands. Who wants the blue doge? Okay, 25 students want the blue doge. And let's see who wants the pink bunny rabbit. 25 students? It's a tie? Hmm, how will we have a tiebreaker? What? No, 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 no. We're not gonna fight to see who the mascot's gonna be. No, no, okay, stop that right now. Doge! We are going to have a pink versus blue fashion show. Whoever wins the best fashion in the show gets to have their color mascot for the school. Since we need to have a tiebreaker, I want everyone to come to school tomorrow in their favorite color, pink or blue. Whatever team has the most school spirit wins! And that will be our new school mascot. Cookie, you want to come over to my house and plan our outfit for tomorrow? I sure do, Molly. We need to have the most school spirit in the color blue. That way, we can win. Because we don't want that creepy pink bunny rabbit to be our mascot, do we? Absolutely not! Molly, come on! I've got a lot of homework to do, and I have to figure out what I'm wearing for spirit day tomorrow. Sorry, Daisy, but I can't get in the car unless you change the color to blue. What? You know I drive a pink car, Molly. Get in! No, I cannot be around the color pink. I choose blue. Molly, you're being ridiculous. You know that I own this car for like three years now. Well, I'm sorry, Daisy, but I'm not getting in the car with you. Well, fine, then. Walk! Wait, what? No, I don't want to walk, Daisy! But I'm not taking the car, though, so see you later, Stinker. Ow! Stinker, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Your bunny rabbit's the real stinker. Just because I fart a lot doesn't mean you should call me a stinker. Ah, it's the creepy bunny rabbit. Get away from me. Ah! Wait, come back! We could be friends! Not a chance, creepy bunny rabbit! Thanks for leaving me at the school, Daisy! But, Molly, I'm sorry, but you didn't want to get in my car. And so, basically, what was I supposed to do? Change the color. This is Brookhaven. You can change the color. I'm not changing the color of my car for you. Now, if you excuse me, Sarah's coming over soon. Say what? Sarah's not gonna come to our house. She's a total bully! Uh, correction, she loves the bunny rabbit in Soto Nai. We both love the color pink. Daisy, Sarah doesn't love anything. She's a grumpy bully. Well, she doesn't want blue to win, and neither do I. So she and Tiffany are coming over. Ugh, this day just got so much worse. Oh, I can't wait till Brookie shows up. Did somebody just say my name? Brookie! Come on in. Molly, you look so sad. What's going on? My sister is inviting over Sarah and Tiffany. Say what? Ah! Why? Because she wants to win, and they're all fashionistas. They're baddies. You know that they're going to win. What? No, our outfits are going to be amazing. Come on, let's go brainstorm what we can do. Yeah, we can't let that creepy bunny take over our school. Game face, Brookie. Let's do this. How's this? Molly, seriously? No. No, try again. How about this? Whoa, Molly, you look like a smurf. No, definitely not. We want to win this competition. Brookie, it's no use. Look at us. You, you look like a... 
Blueberry! And I look like a smurf! Oh, we're not fashionistas. We're not gonna win the competition! Molly, did you forget? Forget what? Huh, how to be fashionable? Yeah, I totally did. Never give up and never surrender. Cause you can do anything. If you put your mind to it, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can do it. Okay, I'll try again. Great job, Molly. I know you can do this. I have faith in you. Thanks, Brookie. You really are the bestest friend in the whole world. Aww. Whoa! Molly, you look amazing! You even have an adorable dog on the front of your shirt! You're the perfect, perfect, like, combination of blue and the bow in your hair and the hearts and, and you're gonna win the school spirit. I just know it. Blue is gonna win because of you. Really? You think so? I know so. My outfit's really cheesy. <laughs> I painted my skin blue, and now, um, I don't think it's gonna wash off. It's okay, Brookie. You definitely have school spirit. We're gonna win to tomorrow, Brookie. I know we are. I hope so, Molly, because I do not want that creepy pink bunny wabbit to be our school <gasps> mascot. Don't worry. With outfits like these, we don't have anything to worry about. We have so much school spirit, it's just beaming out of us. I seriously cannot believe I'm allowing you to dress me up like this. Oh, Sarah, turn that frown upside down. You're the cutest pink bunny rabbit there ever was. <laughs> She's right. You look so adorable. Well, except for that miserable, super frowny face of yours. Come on, you're a cute bunny rabbit. We're totally going to lose. I look ridiculous. <sighs> do you girls actually want to win? Of course we do, fair and square. Uh-huh. Daisy, could you go get me some soda? I'm so thirsty. Sure, no problem. Tiffany, come here. Uh, yeah? What is it, Sarah? You're my crony, so you have to do what I say. You're a minion, and that's all you will ever be. What? Rude! But you know it's true. I am queen of the baddies. Now go upstairs and steal Molly and Brookie's spirit outfit for tomorrow. What? That's cheating. Uh-huh. And we definitely want the pink to win, right? Um, yeah. Then do as I say, Tiffany. Okay, Sarah. If you say so, if it's the only way to win. <gasps> I'll see you tomorrow, Brookie. Show up bright and early so that we can put on our outfits before school. Okay, Molly, see you then. We're totally going to win. Ah, I think I need to go downstairs and have a delicious donut. I can't wait for tomorrow. Totally going to win this competition. Wow. They're such ignoramuses. They didn't even see me hiding in the hallway. <laughs> now I'll steal their school spirit outfits and they'll lose. And Pink will win forever. <laughs> now where did they put them? And the color pink is going to win. Oh, uh, be quiet. It's still too early. Yeah, sleep, Molly, sleep. While our team pink wins. Oh, what? No, I'm up. I'm up. Time to put on my amazing mascot outfit that shows how much school spirit I really have. Uh, as soon as I can open my eyes. One minute, 37 seconds later. Here are our outfits. They were right here in, in this drawer. Daisy. Did you take my school spirit outfit? What? Why would I do that? Of course not. Because you said you were going to win. And that's the only way you would win. Because my outfit and Brookie's outfit... Well, Brookie's outfit was a little weird. But mine is amazing. I worked really hard on it. Where is it, Daisy? Why are you accusing me? That's so rude. You took it. Oh, I didn't. Stop saying that. Well, somebody did because it's missing. Maybe you just misplaced it. I've got to get to school because Pink's about to win. Blue's going to win. You just, you just wait and see. Oh, gosh. Where's my sc school spirit outfit? Oh, no. I think Daisy might have stolen it. Uh -oh. Good morning, Molly. Whoa, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? 
Come on, let's put our outfits on and win this thing. We don't have outfits. <gasps> what? Yes, we do. We worked for hours last night putting our outfits together all in blue so that our blue doge would win as new school mascot. <laughs> no, they're missing. Wait, wha what? Maybe you just accidentally put them under the bed or something. Maybe your dog ran off with them. We could, we could see if Gracie's in the backyard. Here, girl. Here, girl. <laughs> no, you don't understand. They've been stolen. Wait, what? Do you know what this means? If we don't have a school spirit outfit, then, then, then the pink team will win. And then creepy bunny rabbit's going to be our school mascot forever. Well, maybe not forever. I mean, maybe that rabbit will quit eventually like, like shiny unicorn did. I doubt it. That rabbit just seems creepy enough to hang around forever and ever. Yeah, you're right. What are we going to do? It's hopeless. <laughs> Molly, are you seriously crying? Stop that. Get up. I can't. I've given up all hope. Molly, get up. What about never give up and never surrender? Huh? I can't do anything. <gasps> Molly, snap out of it. Put on your game face. We have to come up with new school spirit outfits. And quick. Yeah. Whoever stole our outfit, things are going to win. But they're not. We're going to show them just how much school spirit we really have. Uh, Molly, I went digging through your Halloween costume bin and I found this giant fish. It's blue, so it sort of works, right? Uh -oh. Whoa! Molly, your second outfit's even better than the first. You look amazing. Um, I'm afraid I'm not going to be much help, though. I mean, <laughs> I'm a giant fish. No one's going to pick me. All of the hope of blue rests on your shoulders, Molly. You have to win school spirit. Or we're doomed to that creepy pink bunny wabbit forever. Ah! Don't worry, Brookie. I've got this. What? What's this? Wow. It looks like pink's already arrived. OMG, Daisy! What? Pink for life! Full for us! <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah! They got a pink stretch limo. Yeah, because we're cool and you drool. <laughs> losers. Yeah, <sighs> losers. Molly, don't let this get you down. You still look amazing. You can win school spirit. I promise. I sure hope so. Pink for life. Pink for life. Oh, Tiffany has stage fright. She doesn't want to come out here. Well, it's okay because we look adorable. Put down your sign. No one can see your face. And you want them to see just how much you love pink, right? You're telling me that? Look at your face. You're the grumpy. I just look this way all the time. I'm a baddie. Duh. Vote for pink because we're popular so we know what's cool. The end. Wow. We got a lot of applause. I think that we're going to win. Pink for life, pink for life. Blue is amazing, and I'm about to tell you why. Blue is the color of the ocean. Calm and amazing and and full of, of amazing secrets we haven't even discovered yet. That's why Brookie dressed as a fish, to show you how vast and deep and amazing the color blue really is. Besides that, blue starts with B, Brookhaven starts with B. It's like it was meant to be. Uh, Brookie, are you seriously a dancing fish right now? Well, it was better than flopping around on the on the floor. I mean, right? Yeah, I guess so. You should pick blue because blue is just amazing. I'm not telling you this as the popular girl. I'm telling you this as somebody who really, really loves blue. I, I think that it should be our school color. And, and I think the doge really fits Brookhaven. Way more than that creepy bunny webbing. I couldn't agree more. Blue for life. Brookie, did you hear that? I did, Mommy. It sounds like the applause is even louder for the color blue. I think the doge is going to win. Yes. The school has spoken 
and the doge wins. Congratulations, everyone will now wear blue from here on out. Yay, yay, I win. I get to be the school mascot. What? I wanted to be the school mascot. Why can't I be the school mascot? Everybody thinks I'm creepy. <laughs> Sorry, but you don't get to. <laughs> well, I hope there's a lot of basketballs that fall on your head. <laughs> okay, Bunny Wabbit. Let's not be a sore loser. Congratulations, Doge. You are Brookhaven High's new mascot. Yes! We won, Molly! We did it! again Ugh. yeah but at least we have saturdays and fridays and stuff after school to just like chill and, and hang out at the beach before it turns to be winter let me get some gas molly because we're almost down well i could get stuck at the beach forever and be fine with that you know if they were like where's molly and daisy on monday morning at school i'd be like we're abandoned on an island out here because we ran out of gas and i'd be totally fine with it as long as the island had burritos. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, I'm going to try to relax as much as I can, but I still have to prep for that science test. See, why do you have to wash the car, too? Because I want it to look amazing when we get to the beach. Oh, what do you think Sam's going to be there? Yeah, maybe, but so. Can we finally go to the beach now? Yes, Molly, we can finally go. You're wasting precious weekend time right now. The we could totally be chilling on the beach and not thinking about the fact that school started again. You're such a safe driver. Put your foot on the gas. Quit telling me how to drive. If you could drive, you would have gotten your driver's license, but you failed because you are a terrible driver. Ow. I'm a great driver. What are you talking about? Is this battle? <laughs> yeah, Speed Demon, slow down. But you tell me to speed up, then you... Hey, where are you going? Ah, the beach. My happy place. Ah, soaking up the last of summer. Feels so amazing. Yeah, Molly, uh, those sunglasses look like you're a police officer. <laughs> you're ridiculous. Well, you're under arrest for being boring at the beach. I mean, you're reading your science book? Ugh, so boring. Well, maybe it's fun for me. I find science very relaxing. Hey, you guys, you know, watching at home or like in your car on your iPad or whatever. I'm just wondering if you ever question how it is Daisy and I got to be sisters because like literally we are nothing alike. <laughs> what was that? O-M-G. Daisy, I, I just saw... What, did you see a shark? A whale? A dolphin? Oh, I love coming to the beach and seeing that kind of stuff. No! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mermaid! <laughs> Very funny! A mermaid! No, I'm serious! She had long hair and a, and a beautiful tail. It was a mermaid! Daddy, there's no such thing as mermaids. Well, but, but, but I saw it! Come on, Daisy. Doesn't it say something about that in your science book anywhere? Mermaids are not real. And, I mean, I guess if they were real, they would have evolved from fish. But, but, but science hasn't discovered it, so I don't believe it. Oh, Carl, did you just allow those humans to see you in mermaid form? I'm sorry, Daddy. I just got so excited about going to school in Brookhaven as a human that, 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 that well... I flash my tail out of the water. Girl, you know that if you touch water, you turn back into your true form as a mermaid. You can't let any human know we exist. Or they would ruin our mermaid world forever. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry. If you let this happen again, you are no longer allowed to go to Brookhaven School. <gasps> I promise I won't let any human see my mermaid form ever again. Now, prepare yourself. You're about to grow legs and go to, well, high school. I can't believe you're growing up so fast. 
I wish you were a merbaby again. I know I'm not a merbaby anymore, but I'll always be your girl, Daddy. I promise. <laughs> and I'll make you proud. I'll make all the per mermaids proud. Well, getting an education is a good thing. And, well, Brookhaven is the best. Good morning, class. Sorry I'm a few minutes late, but I was getting a new student ready for school. That's right, guys. We have a new student today. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Seriously, class, what is so funny? <laughs> Read the board. What? What stinks? The teacher farted? <laughs> if I find out which one of you wrote this on the board, you're going to have detention forever. So which one of you did this? Hi, um, I, I, I couldn't figure out my locker. Oh, don't worry, Coral. I'll help you after class. All right. I guess whoever wrote this on the board gets away with it this time. But my eyes are on you. Oh, Coral, you are like unbelievably beautiful. I know, right? She's gorgeous. Like something from another planet gorgeous. <gasps> well, she's not prettier than me. I'm sure there's something about her that's embarrassing that I can bully her about. Um, well, I don't know, Sarah. She seems pretty perfect. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Oh, thanks, guys. But really, I'm I'm not that perfect. You look at us, Coral. We'll see about that. Hi, I'm Coral. Oh, yeah. We've been hearing all about you. You are so pretty. And you just seem like so otherworldly cool. I know, doesn't she? <gasps> Brittany, we should make her the headmaster of the baddies club. <laughs> what, me? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm just an ordinary human. Yeah, I'm not special or anything. Yeah, right. You are the prettiest girl in all of Brookhaven. Yeah. I bet you're going to be super popular. The most popular by tomorrow, even. What? Most popular? Prettiest? I don't think so. I'm totally going to find her weakness and then bully her for it. No one will love her after that. <laughs> yeah, good plan. That's why I'm the headmaster of the baddies club. Ew, Molly, your sandwich smells fishy or something. Yuck! Yeah. What? No, I think it's it's probably just you. It smells pretty good to me. Mm. Ew! What is that, seaweed? Ew! Large Marsh, why did you make this for us? I think she's sleeping in the back. Her lunch lady duties are over for the day. <laughs> Do you um say you were eating a seaweed sandwich? Yeah, I think that that's what it is. Oh, if you're not gonna eat it, I will. I love seaweed. Yeah. Um, okay. Ew. Here you go though. You can have it. Welcome everybody to gym class. I'm so excited because the pool has finally been installed. In that's right, guys. Now you're gonna be expected to swim in gym class. I know you guys are so excited. Everybody go change into your bathing suits, please. What? There's a pool at Brookhaven School? I didn't know that. I, I, I just thought we would like play soccer and stuff. I can't touch the water. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Uh oh, what's wrong, baby? Never learned how to swim. What? No, I can swim really good. Like better than most humans. Uh-huh, sure you can. Prove it by getting in the pool then. What's going on over here? Why are you girls fighting? Um, well, uh, Silva's teasing out because she can't swim. Oh, no, you can't swim, Coral? With a name like Coral, I figured you'd be able to swim. <laughs> Do you want a little cruises or something? Is that why your parents named you Coral? Um, no, and... Yes, I can swim, but oh, you don't have to be embarrassed. Don't worry. Here in Brookhaven School, we can teach you how to swim. That's what I'm here for. Your gym teacher? No, I'm a really good swimmer. It's just... It's just she doesn't want to get in the water. <laughs> what a loser. 
Well, um, it's because I had a really bad ear infection. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And if I get water in my ear, then it could come back. Oh, well, do you have a note from your doctor to say that you don't have to participate in gym class? Uh-oh. Um, well, I could get one. Yeah, I'll get one for tomorrow, I promise. But don't make me go in the pool today, okay? All right, Coral, since you're a new student and you didn't know you needed to have a doctor's note, I guess you're ex excused from swim class today. But tomorrow, I'll expect you to come with your bathing suit unless you have a doctor's note. That loser's not telling the truth. <laughs> She's afraid to get in the pool, and I'm going to find out why. Okay, Daisy, you're up first. I know you can swim because you love swimming. You'll talk about it when you come back from summer break. So once you get in the first lane here, dive in and swim from one side to the other, and I'm going to time you. Are you ready? Set, go! Whoa, you can fast swimmer. Good job, Daisy! Good job! Good job! Oh, look at that. Oh, don't hit your head. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we don't need you to have to go to the school nurse. I did it! That was my best time ever for myself. Yes. So totally was. Oh, I totally embarrassed myself. Oh, no. Humans are never going to think that I fit in. And being around this water is making me miss home. <laughs> Let's see why you're afraid of the water. Sarah, why'd you do that? Why'd you push me in the pool? Because, loser, <laughs> I'm the queen of the baddies here, not you. I didn't want to be queen of the baddies. I, I... Why are you sparkling? What's wrong with you? You look like a firework. Oh, what a freak. Oh, my God. What? You're a mermaid? What? Mermaid to real they exist? My science books were wrong. Everything I've known about the universe is wrong. O-M-G! Mermaids are real! outside or what whoa i love your skateboard oh thanks i just got this new one because it broke my old one oh what you broke your old one how'd you do that well i was trying to do this super cool sweet move and well it broke right in half thank goodness you didn't break right in half that sport is so dangerous oh daisy just keep reading your book well, I win, because I don't need to break any bones or anything like that. Uh-huh, yep, whatever you say. So, Brookie, are you getting really good with your skateboard? It doesn't sound like it, since she will win a little quick way and broke the last one. Don't pay attention to her. She's just being, well, boring. Uh, yeah, I've gotten really good. Do you want to see this new awesome thing I can do? Yeah, show me. Come over here, Molly. This is the perfect spot to show you my new move. You're going to jump on top of that? Uh, uh -oh. okay. Here we go. Someone's going to be calling 911. I'll be fine. Trust me. That's a small little jump. I've got this. Okay, Brookie. Let's see it. Holy guacamole. That was amazing. I want to see that again. Instant replay. Or could you just do it again? Sure. Here we go. Oh my god, you're amazing! Thanks, Molly. I've been practicing that for a while. And, well, I'm practicing even bigger jumps than that one. Wow. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A bunch of losers. Uh -oh. Sarah, don't come outside my house and bully me. Well, I don't see your name on this street. Yes, it is. Uh, no, Molly. This is Brookhaven Street and Park Ave. Ow. Okay, well, it should say Molly Avenue. I'm a famous YouTuber. Yeah, except for nobody cares. I can be out on the street and say anything I want, like the fact that you're a loser. <laughs> Who rides skateboards? You could be driving a car, but wait. Oh, yeah. You're poor. <laughs> so you can't afford a cool car like mine. <laughs> Sarah, quit bullying. 
paying us, or else. Or else what? Hey, Sarah, you said that um skateboards are lame. Well, can you do this? Do what? Stand there and like smell bad like a skunk? <laughs> smell like a skunk? Watch this. I bet you can't do this. Um, I don't need to do that. I have a car. And look at this loser over here. Just sitting there reading, studying again. Such a nerd. Well, I'm trying to get a good grade at school in my science test. Duh. Yeah, that's all you do. You're such a loser. Just because I like to study and read books doesn't make me a, make me a loser. Well, it makes you a nerd. <laughs> nerd, nerd, nerd. Ugh, you're so boring. That's not nice. Yeah, Sarah, that's not nice. But uh, Daisy, she kind of has a point. We're out here hanging out as friends and all you want to do is read a book? <laughs> really? You're supposed to be my sister and stick up for me. <laughs> Even your own sister thinks you're a loser. I didn't say she was a loser. I just said, well, Daisy, you are kind of boring. Molly, <sighs> rude. You know what? I don't, I don't need this. I, I can be cool too. Let me have your skateboard book. Uh oh. Wait, what? Are you sure that's a good idea, Daisy? Have you ever ridden a skateboard before? How hard can it be? Even ignoramuses can do it. Hey, that's not very nice. Are you bullying my friend? Whoa. <laughs> Looks like you guys aren't the best friends you thought you were. All of you are getting fights. It's awesome. Move out of my way. I can make that jump off that ramp. It's so easy. I'm smart and talented. <laughs> Daisy, don't do it. Uh, I didn't mean it. D -d don't do it. Uh, you're going to get hurt. Please. Oh, you meant it all right. But I'm going to prove to you all that, the, that, that I'm not a loser or a nerd. I have lots of talent, but this is one of them. This isn't going to end well. I just have a feeling. Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? I got that totally on Snapchat. <laughs> Sarah, don't you dare send that snap. Too late. <laughs> I knew she was a loser. Sarah! Molly, is that blood? What's your emergency? Um, my, my sister, she fell off a ramp and I think she broke her leg. There's a lot of blood. And my other friend, she passed out because of the blood. I, I live on Parkland Ave. Okay, try to stay calm. Is your sister conscious? Yes, it hurts a lot. Did you hear that? We did. We'll be there as quickly as possible. Try not to run them over. Uh, They're right in the street. Oh my. Okay, we'll be there soon. Thank you. Daisy, can you hear me? Yes, Ignoramus. I didn't hit my ears. I broke my leg. Brookie? Brookie? Brookie! Oh, no. This is so bad. This is my fault. I, I shouldn't have sided with Sarah and, and, and bullied Daisy. I, I didn't mean it that way. I, I, oh, no. I ruined everything. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Over here, wee over here. Okay, I'm just gonna get my stretcher. I'll be there in one second. Don't worry, Daisy. He, he's gonna take care of you. And Brookie, I hope he can take care of you too. Oh my, two kids right in the middle of the road. This is a dangerous situation. It's gonna be okay though, right? You need to put some cones out. Go into the back of my ambulance and grab them, okay? Okay. Oh no, I always mess this stuff up. I, I feel like I always do. I just need you to take some deep breaths. Oh, I messed up even more. I accidentally put a road cone on top of Brookie. Ow. Well, at least everyone will know not to hit her. Oh, why can't I do anything right today? Oh. Daisy, I'm here for you. Like you were here for me before when you said I was a loser. Daisy, 
shouldn't have rode that. You know you're not into skateboarding. I can't believe it. Everyone thinks I'm a loser. And now they really think I'm a loser. Uh-oh. Who cares what anyone else thinks? You're amazing and smart. And you don't have anything to prove to anybody. Yeah, tell that to my broken leg. Wee 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 Why are you making that siren sound? Because my siren broke on the way over here, and uh, I wanted to let everyone know where the emergency room. Ay ay ay! Brookie, Brookie, say something! I'm so sorry about this. I, I didn't know you were afraid to see blood. I'm sorry to say this, Molly, but your friend is in a coma. What? Yeah, it was so traumatic for her to see your sister get injured that, well, I don't know when she's gonna wake up. Oh, um, gee! Okay, where's my sister? Daisy? Daisy? Oh, my leg, oh! Your sister's gonna need an x-ray to see how extensive, um, well, her surgery's gonna be. Surgery? Uh -oh. Surgery? Uh, are you kidding me? Can't believe I broke my leg. Why did I even listen to what they said about me? Ugh, I'm so mad at myself and my sister and Sarah and everybody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to do surgery right away. I don't, I don't wanna have surgery. <laughs> so stressed, so worried. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, a snack machine. Oh, thank goodness. Mm, donuts. This will make everything better. It'll make everything better. You're back, Brookie. It's so good to see you. Oh, what happened? Well, you had a little bit of trauma because you saw your friend get hurt. And when you saw the blood, you freaked out, passed out, and had a little bit of a coma. A little bit of a coma? Is that a thing? It totally is. Where's my BFF, Molly? I need to see her. Uh, sorry. She's also in a coma, too. Wait, what? Yes. Uh, a food coma. Don't worry. We're giving her some IV medication to help with her stomach ache. Uh, why'd I eat so much from the hospital vending machine? Uh, hmm, okay. This bone looks pretty broken. We may need to put some pins and rods in here. But she should heal up nicely. What's what's going on? What's going on? Is you're not supposed to wake up? More anesthesia, please. More anesthesia. That's better. Whew. I've never had that happen with a patient before. She must have a super brain. Molly? Uh, say something, Molly. Ugh. I'm never going to eat a donut again. Really? Because they're bringing donut for dessert at the hospital tonight, you know? What? There's more There's more donuts? Are, are you serious? Yeah, but you don't want any more, right? Since your stomach hurts? Well, I mean, there's always room for just one more, right? Ay, 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 Molly. Ugh, Brookie, I'm so glad you're feeling better. I was so worried and I felt so guilty that I... I hurt everybody I love today. Molly, no. You didn't. I mean, what you said to Daisy was a little bit rude, but, like, she decided to jump off that ramp. It was her choice. Molly, seriously, you're eating more donuts? You you just woke up in your, from your food coma. I know. I was just really stressed out about you guys, and donuts made me feel better. Oh, Molly. Daisy? She sounds like a baby! What'd they do to her? Operate on her brain? Oh no, we just had to give her a lot more anesthesia because, well, she woke up during her surgery. <gasps> Say what? Are you serious? Totally. But don't worry, she'll be fine in about 24 hours. If you guys want to stay, you totally can. I'll get you some sleeping bags. I wouldn't dream of leaving my sister. Not ever. Whoa, it's like a sleepover at the hospital. Yeah, but I'm not really sure Daisy knows she's actually at the sleepover. <laughs> yep, she definitely doesn't. Well, at least we're all together. Yeah.